Hello, this is Techman88, and uh, I wanted to do a proper video on this cactus farm that I'm working on because I came up with an improvement that improves the efficiency about 95%. Uh, so it's going to push the cactus off the top. It's going to push it over this way, and that improves efficiency up to 95%. Not 100%. I, I don't know exactly why, but uh, there's no reduction in efficiency. I've timed this so that this piston is not in the way when these four pistons are doing their zero tick thing. So, uh, yeah, this uh, is kind of a compromise. It's not as fast as you can make one of these farms. It's doing it uh, about 66% of the fastest speed you can do it, where if you shift sand back and forth as well, like uh, Ilmango and Methods were showing. But I think this is a nice compromise, and this is super fast. Uh, the items are dropping down here and clear my inventory, you can just see how fast they're going in. This will almost fill up the entire inventory uh, in about five minutes. So I don't, th I, this farm right here is actually super big. <laughs> uh, you, you would probably want one much smaller than this, uh, but you can do that. And you don't have to use uh, this fancy pushing, uh, piston pushing stuff off the side using these observers coming through. So this here is running at normal speed. If you listen in the background, you can hear what pistons sound like when they're pushing or pulling every single game tick. It's just so incredibly fast. So to actually see this running, you really have to slow it down to about 1 TPS. Uh, so the pattern is it's going to fire this piston, then the piston down here, then the piston over here, then the piston over here, then this piston in the back, which pushes the, uh, the cactus off. And that retracts before the cycle repeats again, where this this pushes again. Uh, so I have tested this, and I've uh, done a, I've done a lot of testing on this to make sure it's actually working correctly. And this does not reduce efficiency whatsoever. So I think that's actually an extremely good trade-off because you can get the 95% collection efficiency, and you don't have to have a whole bunch of complicated uh, panes and stuff everywhere, which are super hard to place, and you don't have to have mine carts either. Uh, I'll go look at the other designs I did. Uh, so this is the mine cart design. Hopper mine carts. So the items would be, they would be shot up off the cactus, and they would be collected by the hopper mine cart. I did not get as high efficiency as I wanted. You might be able to see it in a second, an item falling back into the cactus. Uh, so they they just don't all seem to have enough velocity to get up to the minecart. Even though it can collect it, it does not work properly. And there's also no space for a hopper beside the cactus, obviously, because every single spot is taken up. Uh, like the piston extender arm is going to come into this block. Uh, this block right here, you can't put a, a hopper because that's adjacent to the cactus. Uh, so yeah, you can't get the excellent collection efficiency from mine carts. So yeah, that was my second attempt at getting this working, getting a higher efficiency. And I'll turn off the previous ones. And this over here was uh, the first one that I showed yesterday in a quick video. And it's totally passive. It doesn't have that extra row of pistons. In some ways, it might look cooler, but a lot of cactus just goes straight up and straight down into the cactus. Even though I have, I have tried to make this work pretty well. Like the, if it goes into the side, it can get, it'll get pushed back by these pistons, but it should, on average, go down the chute in that little corner of the glass uh, glass panes. And then, of course, the other side over here, they just go straight down with no problem. This one is, is not quite as efficient. I think probably 60% as efficient as, a, as the first one that I showed in this video, the one with the active piston pushers. So I think if you're actually building a farm like this, you probably want to just go ahead and do the first design I showed because the, the efficiency lost is, uh, I think, not worth the sacrifice 
So these farms are not too laggy. There's a couple things the lag might come from. Like, I think some lighting updates because you're moving uh, some of these blocks around. But uh, the main thing would be on the client side because it creates all these particles where the cactus is being destroyed, like the block destruction animation. But for cacti, it's extremely bad and can turn this into a slideshow quite easily. And in this case, I only get like four, uh, 40 frames per second. Uh, but the internal server, that runs at about 5 ms. And if I turn it off just to get a baseline, uh, that's about 2 ms. So this is about 3 milliseconds per tick. Or, yeah, 3 milliseconds per tick on the server side. One of my priorities on making this farm, actually one of the main priorities, was just to make it 100% reliable. So if you leave the chunks and come back, or something like that, or you save your world and come back, it's not going to break. And like a lot of machines like this, they might break when you're doing this. And uh, like the shifting sand design, I think that's unavoidable. I think you are going to eventually break your farm. Uh, just because you miss uh, zero tick pulse to push something forward, and that uh, that causes it to retract an end piston or uh, an end rod or rail or something or whatever you're using. So yeah, the pistons on the side, they don't seem to create this issue at all. If you, if you actually push this up, maybe I'll demonstrate it real quick. So like if I push this piston up, like if this is if I don't give it a zero tick, it's going to push these pistons over and the piston head is going to, it's going to exist there. So you can't place a cactus or anything. Uh, so that's, that's a big thing to avoid. Like especially, I think the value of these farms is that you can run them on demand and quickly generate cactus for an EXP farm like I've shown before. So it's pretty bad if you, uh, if you have to keep replacing your cactus in a big farm like this, especially because it's such a pain to do that. Uh, like one way you could do is come in one of these holes, then you'd have to like pillar up and, well, yeah, you can't even really pillar up because that'll destroy the cactus. So it's a it's a really huge pain to just keep replacing your cactuses. So, yeah, in my experience, I've tried this quite a few times. Try it again. Just restart the server, single player world. And I have not noticed any cactus breaking. Uh, another th part of the reliability is to just have a, a, a repeater here on two ticks. And that's just going to prevent you from putting in some in input that could break it. I can just spam this. And nothing bad ever happens in this. So I think, uh, I think that's a great feature. Any farm that wants to be seriously used should, uh, should be absolutely reliable like this. Absolutely no breakage. And that, I think, it eliminates shifting the sand back and forth. Uh, shifting the entities back and forth, as I was saying earlier, that can suddenly, I don't know, the, the game gets saved in the wrong state or something like that. And that's also why El Mango's Cactus Farm I'll show you over here. Actually, uh, I fixed this one, uh, but like an earlier farm that they made on uh, the Sidecraft guys, like this shifts the sand back and forth. And of course, they, uh, they were the people to uh, make a video showing that you don't even have to use sand, you just use piston heads. Uh, so yeah, another farm is, uh, this is El Mango's faster farm, just a single cactus plant. And all you have to do to fix this is just move the cactus down by one. And I think you can fit all the, yeah, you can fit all the hoppers in here. So just in case you've already cut this farm, that's a way to fix it. And just to show a speed comparison, uh, this seems to be running a lot slower. This is actually slower. Uh, I think about 2,500 cacti per hour. But you can, you can even just hear it. It's not operating every single tick like you can do with their own improvement, the Sidecraft guy's improvement. So just to put the speed of this in perspective, I've hooked it up to a chest down here. And I actually need three hoppers to get enough 
uh, capacity to get all the items in here. So just for this tiny farm, it's only nine cacti. Uh, that's the rates. And if I was going to build this, I would probably build it uh, probably smaller. I'd probably take off one sliver of this. Uh, so you just have uh, six, hack, six hack die. So the rates on this is about uh, 2550 cactus per hour. It's pretty good. 95% um, collection efficiency, which you really want to have quite high for a farm like this because you're running all this stuff, so many pistons, you have to build it and stuff, so you, you just want the maximum efficiency you can get. It really does matter for a farm like this that's so fast. Um, it runs four out of six game ticks. That's that's a more complex issue. You can get these farms running faster. Like, if you have more pistons, they can fire quicker. But then you have this space issue where you have to have, uh, like, you have to have a ton of pistons. You should watch Il Mango and Method's video about this. They showed some designs that are faster per cactus, but they uh, you had to collect the entities yourself because there's no way you could actually get them out of there. Or maybe there is. Who knows? Uh, they, they might take this into consideration, but I think I think you do lose two game ticks where you could be random ticking the cactus uh, just by having this, uh, this piston over here pushing the entities out of the way so they fall down, predictably into this water stream. And then, of course, uh, I went over this before. No, no issues saving and loading. That's a really nice thing if you want to run this on demand. I guess these uh, these mechanisms right here, which uh, I can even demonstrate it real quick. So I can turn that off and just place a block here. It's going to update that. And that's going to just pulse this up once. So I, th I think... Uh, I think no matter what, it's going to be zero tick pulse, even if you save it in that game tick, which I, I have tested because I've saved and loaded so many times, and this basically does something every single game tick. So I should have seen something by now if there was a problem. This is the piston firing sequence again. So it's this piston, then this piston, then this piston, then this piston. And those are produced by the the slime bits over here. They're all at the 12 push limit. And this makes us pretty much the maximum that you can use for any slime. Uh, slime kind of formation like this. I might show a little bit later about another arrangement you could do where you could share them be between each other. But yeah, it's it's about optimal. So this, 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 this. And also another note on this is it uses the observers, so they're not the zero tick pulses. Uh, they're one tick pulses or two tick redstone, or two tick, two game tick pulses. And like this observer over here is going to trigger the piston below, uh, just because of the way they work. The observers are transparent, so they don't power each other. And uh, yeah, that avoids some issues, maybe with quasi kind activity. Like over here. This is what I mean by doubling it up. So the center slime formation, you share that between two sides of this. So you get a, uh, you essentially get four out of it instead of three, uh, with uh, the single wide layer. And of course, this is this is way way overpowered. I don't even think you should build this, but just as a case for efficiency, like in a larger area, I think this is the, the way to do it. And down here, they all go into a chest. I have the items being aligned against the chest so they can uh, flow into the hoppers. And it's pretty fast. This is just running at half rate. Go to full rate now. Destroy the chest.
So it looks like this kind of rate in real time, and I have four hoppers facing into it just to handle all the items that this is getting. So I think cactus per volume, this is pretty optimal. I haven't calculated it, and I would be interested in the competition for this. But this this would be my entry into that competition. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and there will be a world download so you can look at this. And you'll spawn way over here, so you would just come out this area to see some of the newest designs that I came up with. And I doubt this will ever be the fastest design. Somebody will probably come up with something better. Uh, but yeah, this is mine. Uh, somebody might come up with one that's better MSPT per cactus produced. You know what I mean. Just like less laggy for, for each cactus. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.